Okay, so now that we have the basics of green screen put together, what we want to do is we want to have a look at it in practice. So I'm going to put in a couple of green screen videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for one of these longer sections here. So maybe we have this section here of the, the one with the, the seagulls here. I'll be able to put something in there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import a bit of green screen footage. So I've obtained some green screen footage it's copyright free so it's royalty free we can use it for this course always be careful that the stuff you're using is copyright free so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import it into my bin here or into my media I'm just going to click on the down arrow like we did I have it positioned on my desktop so I'm going to go now and I have it here green screen video it's called so it's just two dinosaurs on front of a green screen background and I'm going to import that selected one so it imports this video here and you can see it puts it in there at the bottom for me I can scrub across it and when I scrub across it you can see it's showing me exactly in the preview window what's happening there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a bit of the video I'm not going to select too long but maybe six or seven seconds of it there we don't need to select all of it and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it down on top of this video here so you can see now it's down on top of that video now we know that the video is working overlay mode so when I go to play this video through it's going to play what it can see. Remember the bird's eye view. It's going to play what it can see. And then when it gets to this green screen, it's going to play that. And then it's going to go back down. I'll run through it just to show you the way it's like. So it's going to play away. It comes to this green screen. It's playing it. And then when it gets to the end of it, it's going to go back into the normal video. That's because we haven't told iMovie that it is green screen. So we need to do that. So what we do is we click on the video. And then it gives us these cutaway options here up at the very top. So if we click on it, at the minute you can see it's cut away, which means it's going to cut from one video into the other video. What we're going to do is I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to tell it that it's green and blue screen. Now when I say green and blue screen, what that's telling iMovie, it sees green as being invisible. So it's able to see directly through. So you can see this green area here. It's going to be able to see down through that into the bottom video that's there, and it will play through it then. So we click into green and blue screen. And you can see it automatically now comes true. So iMovie does a great job of it straight away. You can see that. I'm going to go back. And now I'm going to play my video through. And you'll see you have the footage there coming through. Now the footage won't make much sense because it's not in context. But if you imagine if you had someone speaking in front of a green screen. Like a weatherman or something like that. You could put them into a background. What we can also do. So you can see when it's going to play through. If I click the play through. It just, it's there, straight away. We could fade it through. So if I just zoom in for you here, you can see these two balls here. If I just drag that ball in like that, you can see it's ramping it up there. So do you see the ramp? What that's going to mean is instead of it coming and playing straight in, it's going to ramp up into the video. So I'll zoom out and then show you again. We'll go back and you'll just see the difference. So it's going to zoom, it's going to fade in rather than just being there. So if we play it through, so you can see it's fading in now. When it gets to the very end, you'll be able to see there. It's going to drop down to the very end. So you can see it fades in and fades out. You can see it ramping up and then ramping back down. So that's good if you want a bit of video to fade in or fade out. Remember, this doesn't have to be green screen video that's on, on the top. We could put in a bit more video. Just when we're on the green screen, we'll just show you. So I'm just going to pick a bit of the video of the two people walking. And I'm going to drag it down on top of this scenic view. So you can see at the minute it's in overlay mode. So when I click through, it's going to be there and then it's going to go off. I'm just going to turn that volume down so you won't be hearing it. But if I, I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. If I drag this in a wee bit, you can see it's going to go into this. It's going to fade into it, show it and fade back out. So it'll give you a nice or more relaxed feel. So I'm playing it through there now. You can see in the preview window. So it's going to fade in, play a bit of it and then it'll fade back out again into it. So it gives you just a nicer effect. So the next thing we want to do now is I want to show you a green screen that's not entirely green. So in this video here, you can see that it had been entirely green. So the background was fully green. But if you came to that you didn't have a full green screen, so just say if I only had a green bit of paper behind me and it wasn't covering the white bit of the wall, I could select only to hide the green bit or only to hide it so I'll show you what I mean 
So I'm gonna import a picture. So import the exact same way. I have, I have a green screen. What I did is I just got a picture of a man, again, copyright free, and I just put a bit of green around him. Now, I'm gonna import that selected. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna put the picture, we'll just put it down to here. And I'll drag it out a wee bit more, just so that it's longer for eight seconds maybe. So if I play it through, you can see it's gonna play through. It's gonna show the picture with the man and then it's going to go in. I'm gonna take that um, Ken Burns of it as well. So I'm gonna just take it of it. The cutting options, I'm just gonna say fit. And that, that just leaves it normal. So it's not gonna it's not gonna try to, to move across it. So it's just putting the, the screen there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tell iMovie that this bit of picture is green screen. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna get rid of this background area here because it only has a wee bit of green. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna to go to the cutaway options like we've done earlier on, and I'm gonna put green and blue screen on it. So once I do it, you can see it's taking a wee minute. You can see it's just doing a wee bit of work there for me. And now it doesn't know what is green. So you can see it's putting on, it's done quite a good job of this round it here, but it doesn't know what to do the rest. Now I'm just gonna zoom in and show you. Can you see these balls here? It's prompting you, it re realizes that not all the background is green. So it's prompting you to show it where the green stops. So I'm gonna drag it in like that. I'm gonna drag it in here like that. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna drag this area in here. And then I'm gonna drag this area in here. So I'm, I'm showing iMovie where the green starts and where the green finishes. Look at the bottom here. I've put it up too, too high. So we drag it back down. Just make sure that you're getting all the areas in. What I'm trying to show you here is that you don't need an entire green screen. You can just have a section behind the, the subject and you can then cut it in or out. So I'm gonna zoom back out and then I'm gonna show you the difference. So when we play it through it, you'll see now the way it works. So it just has the man there on the background. You can see the job it's doing. It's eliminating all the green from the background and then it's there. What if I just leave a section of green in? So by accident, just leave a section of green in like this. And if I play it through, you'll see it's always gonna be there. So you have to be very careful that you just get it right when you're doing it. Okay, so that's what we wanted to talk about, just the different areas that when we're selecting green and blue screens to take them out. So try it, have a play with it. If you have a video camera and maybe a green wall or a green background or a green sheet, try it. Film yourself in front of it and then try and superimpose yourself onto it. You'll get more benefit out of it. I will give you these clips to use, but you'll get more benefit out of actually putting into the practice. The most important thing is with green screen is that you have good lighting so that your background is lit properly. So light it from all the sides. You don't want any shadows. You don't want any creases if, if it's a backdrop. The reason is if you have a shadow or a crease, it's gonna see it as a different shade of green or maybe a different color. It might see the shadow as black. So you want it all nearly one uniform color. So have a go at it. It's great fun and you can see how simple it is to use.